this is a quick tour of what I have going on in my garden this year. Um, this year, the raised beds that I've used the last two years, the frames completely rotted out, and so I tore them out um, and carted cartloads of soil over to here and to the back corner and then set up my raised bed that I had for my last place um, and uh, I got stuff growing there so uh, start with we have the garden flocks and some flowers that I uh, what is growing forget-me-nots that I planted from seed my garden flocks are perennials that will come back um, soon and are pink and beautiful and they seem to have transplanted quite well. Um, this brick I found, it's really awesome. I got it at uh, Home Depot online, had it shipped to the store and I have two sets of 25 and it was enough to do the entire um, back of the house and this little bed here and the little bed in the corner and I probably have about, I don't know, maybe six feet of it left. Um, awesome stuff. Um, these I built, these are gutter planters I made with vinyl gutters from Home Depot. And uh, and then a 1 by 4 by 10 board on the back. And eye hooks and screw hooks. And I did it all by myself. Um, ended up costing me about 60 bucks to do two planters. So not too bad considering I can use them every year. Um, the top row here we've got some yellow onions. Some are just starting to... Yay! Popping out, and I only planted it, planted it a week ago. Um, more onions here. Um, this I took. I decided to be a little different with the, uh, not be so anal with being so organized. So I took the arugula, spinach, red spinach, and um, black seeded Simpson lettuce seeds. Mixed them together and then planted them. So it'll be an interesting, colorful mix all along here. Um, and of course, drain holes were drilled in the bottom. Um, down here, I've got some other green spinach. I've got romaine. I've got a spicy salad mix. This stuff's really good and it's really already uh, taken off pretty good and I only planted these in here maybe a week ago, the starts. Um, and then some more romaine because that's my favorite um, lettuce to grow. And what's awesome about these is you don't wait and grow the whole head and take the head out. You just pull leaves as they mature and then it just grows more and I will have probably salad through October which is awesome. Um, and these were like, got a buck fifty at my local uh, co-op supply uh, for like six of them, I guess it was. Um, then over here, I built this little, kind of need some work here, it's not quite straight, but I built a little bean trellis just with some garden stakes and a string trellis from Home Depot. And I've got some sugar snap peas. Um, what will be planted here in part of this area will be parsnips, carrots, and turnips. Um, there's some collard, collard greens. Um, this is an interesting shade of kale that uh, grows hot pink in the middle. Looks really cool. Um, those are shallots. That's some more uh, red romaine. And these are Walla Walla onions, which look kind of pathetic right now, but hopefully will perk up. Um, <laughs> and uh, over here, because I did really well with potatoes last year, so I bought this extra large tub. And if you've never made potatoes, grown potatoes at home, it's really awesome. You can do so in a container like this. Um, and you'll end up with a ton of potatoes. Um, this is actually a mix of Chieftain and Yukon Golds. Um, and then over here I have, uh, I think these are just Yukon Golds? Or no, these are just Chieftains, which are like a small red potato. Um, and then back here, I haven't fully decided, but I want some tomatoes, but just small tomatoes. So, And since they kind of shade other plants, I think I'll put a couple of tomato plants back here. Um, and then I've got to reset up my bird feeders for the little critters because they like to come into the yard. Um, and then, oh, we got a fire pit this year. And I used bricks that I moved from elsewhere in the yard and made a little stand for it. And then over here, the these were in the raised bed that I demolished. Um, these are strawberry plants from last year. And they seem to have transplanted well. So hopefully they will do well. Um, this will be the pumpkin and squash patch. I got tons of space for it, which is awesome because they spread so much. Um, I just planted pickle cucumbers, you know, those nice small ones that you could turn into pickles, but I like to eat them raw. They're really yummy and crunchy. And I'm going to have them trellis up the wall here. Um, and these are blueberries from last year. So I hope you enjoy my garden that I've gone so far. And Cappy is so terribly bored because I've been out here for like three hours today and he thinks that's crap and wants to go for a walk so I better go shower and uh, yeah I'm kind of a mess. <laughs> Bye.